Again, here we are at the Start menu of Photoshop, and we're going to select File, Create a New Document, and this we're going to call Cube. Click OK, and fill the space. Control-0 once again brings that workspace into better view. So to create the cube, we're going to start with the Rectangle tool, and we'll just draw a rectangle somewhere out on this page. Um, once again we'll just change those properties to be white with a black border and we'll bring that down to about that size um, for the, the stroke. So the first thing that we need to do if we look at the example on our page um, you can see that the, the sides of this cube angle back. So to see two sides and the top is what we're going to be aiming for. But this obviously um, is the actual side of the cube, but this is not how it looks. So it angles back, we need to skew it just a little bit. So this is how we do this. Go up to Edit and scroll down to um, Transform. And at this point, we can skew it simply by dragging it up on one side. So you just drag one of these handles and you can you can skew it to really whatever direction you want it to go. Um, we just want it to slightly angle up a little bit. Um, and I can see that right now this is probably going to take up um, a fair amount of room on this workspace. So I'm actually going to go back up to edit and choose free transform and I'm going to shrink that just a little bit. Um, so the box fits a little bit nicer on there. Um, once I'm happy with it, I will click the check mark, and there we are. We're good to go. So now we've got our first shape drawn, and the next thing that we need to do is to draw the opposite side. So what we're going to do is go to Layer and duplicate the layer. You can also press Control J, and it'll duplicate it. And so you can see that there's the first ring rectangle, there's the second rectangle. I'm going to rename those just so I'm clear about what is what. And this is going to be the right side. And then this one is going to be the left side. And I'm going to keep this layer selected because even though you can't see it, it is there. It's just stacked right on top of that other layer and I'm going to transform it. I'm just going to flip it across that axis and I'm going to flip it horizontal. So now you can see that there are two definite distinct layers there. I'll use my move tool and I'll bring it until it lines up with that first shape. So now I've got two shapes which are the two sides going back on the cube. Next thing we need to do is to create the top this gets a little bit tricky, um, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find that it's actually pretty easy. So start to draw, and then press Shift, and you can draw another square. And so now this rectangle layer, rectangle 1, I want to change the name of that while I'm thinking about it to the top. And I want to distort this so that the corners line up with the corners of the box. So I'm going to go up to Edit, scroll down to Transform, and I'm going to choose Distort. I'll move it around a little bit, and then I'm going to bring the corners. Um, three of the corners are going to line up with my original um, box here. And then this fourth corner, I'm going to have to sort of eyeball it to get it in the right perspective. You can see if I move it around, it looks like I could really distort it pretty easily and so I think if it's lined up directly um, as it is you can see with the the um, guides right there showing up the pink means that it's lined up perfectly with that front one um, and then we're good to go so I'll set that by choosing that um, check mark at the top so now what I want to do is I want to start shading. So I'll go to my right side layer, and that's the first one that I'm going to shade. And it looks like this side is just a little bit darker. So I will choose 
a new layer to put right above it because once again we're going to shade um, like we did the other ones and even before I start to shade on this I'm going to make it a clipping mask so I'll right click create clipping mask and then I'll choose my paintbrush and I'm going to make it a little bit larger and I'm going to bring the opacity down into maybe single digits at this point and I'll start to color now you can see that even though I'm coloring outside of the, the box um, while dragging it it actually stays within it because of that that clipping mask so I'm just going to you know use this for reference again and see that it's a little bit darker up here and so I'll just keep adding value to it until I get it to the gray and the blacks um, that I want it to be and I might even make it just a little bit larger bring down the opacity just a little bit more just so that I can get a really nice fade on that box and I'll do this with each of the layers so the left side I'll click on the left side create a new layer I'll right click on that layer and create a clipping mask and again I'll start to shade a little bit on this one you can see that there's just a slight gray happening in that area and then I'll do the same thing with the top as well and that's how you create the box